Hey everyone, I've been making a lot of stuff in Google Slides um, to have interactive activities for the kids. Um, and one thing that I have realized uh, that a lot of the kids struggle with, especially if they don't know Google Slides very well, or if they're, I don't know, in first grade, um, they may accidentally click on some things, move some things around, maybe delete some stuff, and get to the point where it's really hard for them to understand where things were and what they're supposed to be doing. So I'm gonna show you about the tip that I've learned to make sure um, it's a lot more clear what the kids are supposed to be doing and make sure that they can't um, do all of this stuff to mess up um, the slide itself. So here's another copy of the slide I just showed. Um, the only thing that I want the students to actually be able to move are these four little cards. I want them to be able to move them to this spot right here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these cards off to the side. And this, I don't want the kids to be able to move or change anything from this screen. So what I'm gonna do is save this as an image. I'm gonna go to File, Download. You can do a JPEG or a PNG. Then I'm going to make a new slide, get rid of this stuff, and set the background. So I'm gonna choose the image that I just downloaded from, uh, from here. I'm gonna click it here, open it up, click done, and now, no one can move anything around. So this stays still, this all stays flat. I'm gonna go back to this page where I have the assets that I want the kids to move. I'm gonna copy and paste them onto my new page. And there you go. Now I can move the cards over to the right place, but I can't change anything else on the screen. So anytime I make something that's supposed to be interactive for my students, I'm gonna make sure that I, the only things they're able to change are the things that I want them to change. That will create a lot less confusion and help them to complete the module successfully. Hope this was helpful, thanks.